The storm hit 2,000 kilometers from here, but it's at Orlando's International Airport where one of three disaster relief centers is providing care and aid for newly arrived Puerto Ricans. The island and homeland they left is still largely without electricity. Fresh water supplies are dwindling and heading to the U.S. mainland is the only option for many. I feel so sad and I feel so lonely because I don't have my, ma my mom, I don't have my dad, my sister. Uh, it's a day by day, so for us over here, it's, uh, our hearts are with them because we, we wish we could do more, but we can't because you know, we cannot get power to them or anything. The economic crisis in Puerto Rico has already prompted hundreds of thousands of residents to leave to find jobs. The aftermath of Hurricane Maria is likely to force many more to follow. In the last few days alone, 30,000 Puerto Ricans have arrived here in Orlando. Statewide, that number could exceed 100,000. But Florida's home to a million Puerto Ricans, and this is a community more than willing to lend a helping hand. But President Trump's latest tweets, effectively threatening to abandon long-term aid, haven't gone down well. Here we have a lot of different items from diapers. Emily Bonilla is Orange County's first Puerto Rican commissioner. She's helping organize aid and says the president's comments are offensive. I think it's a threat. Um, we've seen him make threats now to the NFL, and it seems to be the way he tries to get things done his way. And he's getting a lot of criticism from Puerto Rico, and that's his way of saying stop criticizing me. San Juan's mayor speaks for many when she made a statement asking all Americans to stand together to support the people of Puerto Rico. Politics aside, here in Orlando, volunteers from across the state are helping any way they can. As you see, you know, we don't have any electricity or water here, but people are like sweating and when people get tired, someone, someone yell like, this is better than what's happening in Puerto Rico. So the people, it's, it's like the, the, the gasoline and the adrenaline of the people is think about the situation that, that our people are having in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico will need help for months to come. And even if the president isn't committed, people here are. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Orlando, Florida.